Yeah. The world of Jumanji. Got a merch on Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome to the brand new area here at Chessington World of Adventures, the world of Jumanji. That's right, today we're here for the official press launch for this brand new area and of course the brand new roller coaster Mandrill Mayhem. Now, I've got to be honest with you guys, I've actually had the chance to ride this ride already earlier this week during filming. I filmed the amazing opening ceremony this morning. So, just to let you guys know, unfortunately these are not going to be my very first reactions to this land. I've already been in there quite a bit. But I've of course brought the boys with me today. We've got Archie Deeds, Lee, and Arch Nemesis is somewhere in there. I'm gonna be honest, me and Archie were on a very impromptu little night out last night. So uh, if he seems a little bit rough in today's video, that's why. But yeah, obviously today I have the opportunity to bring you guys into this area with me for the very first time. So I'm gonna show you around the entire area. I've spotted some very cool Easter eggs in there um, throughout the week. And John Burton, the rise designer, was actually telling us some that like haven't really been spotted yet so yeah keep an eye out in this video for all of the amazing easter eggs and of course we're gonna get on the rides for the first time with these boys we're gonna get their reactions we're gonna share which seat is the best in our opinion so yeah this morning the ceo of merlin scott o'neill what a lovely guy like, i actually had the opportunity to speak to him this morning he's so nice um yeah he along with the ceo of uh, sony opened this area and there was a whole kind of uh, fire and firework display. It was absolutely amazing. But yeah, let's head into the area for the first time. I'm gonna show you guys everything there is to see in the world of Jumanji. And there'll also be loads of familiar faces in this video. I'm gonna be asking people what they think of this area and getting their reviews of Mandrill Mayhem. There it is, come on, let's head into the area. Just come off of our first ride of the day on Mandrill Mayhem. Now, as I said, we're going to ride it loads and loads today. I'm going to find the best seat on that ride. But first of all, let's get the boys' very first reaction. Just first after your first ride, do you enjoy it? I really liked it. It was just a little bit different, actually. And I love going backwards on that loop at the end. Of well, no, when you send it back. So first ride impressions, thumbs up. Very good. Nice. A bit up by the big cat. Pretty scary. Pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hanging on here. No, I definitely. That's a, a panic as a cat. It's a Jaguar, mate. It's a Jaguar. And a Jaguar is a cat. And it's a cat. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd agree with Bobby. That is definitely my favourite part of the ride. Where you're literally just hanging on the side. Enjoy it, everyone. Thumbs up. Yeah. As I said, we're going to head on it a load and load of times today. Try and find the best seat because. I've only done it on the left side currently. I want to do it backwards, I want to do it on the right side, I want to do it on the seats just in front of the backwards row. So yeah, we're going to get loads and loads of rides. But whilst I'm here, I should show you the first Easter egg of the video. This is one that um, John Burton actually had to show me. I didn't spot this one at all. If you come to these uh, petrol pumps, um, they're just down from the Mandrill Mayhem entrance. The numbers on these is actually the year in which the uh, Jumanji films were released. You've got 2017, as John there, he was the one that showed me this Easter egg. And then you've got 2019, where uh, obviously the sequel to Jumanji was released. So it's obviously the new Jumanji films. Right, let's head on for a re-ride on Mandrill Mayhem. Oh, I didn't get the same opinions. Yeah, that version. Loved it, mate. Yeah. Loved it, yeah. Better forwards or backwards? Backwards was unique. Um, I think it's better than the Swarm. What, the whole ride? Better than the Swarm? Well, no, that's what wow. you need, can it? You know, it's like five different rides will do the same thing as the Swarm, this. Well, there you go. It's not a launch B&M. No, there isn't there. Yeah, there there is. goes backwards, though. Well, there's a world exclusive for you guys. RGDs prefers Mandrel Mayhem to the Swarm. It's, it's the world's first backwards B&M. Here's the world's first. 
The swarm went backwards. You know what a launch then? <laughs> this is the world's first launch backwards and forwards B&M. There you go. Wing, boomerang. Wing wider. Boomerang. They've really got their stats <laughs> up here, haven't they? <laughs> just had a ride on Ostrich Stampede there for the first time. I have to say, it's a bit of an airtime machine. It throws you up and down. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you around the entirety of the world of Jumanji. Because yeah, in this central kind of plaza bit, um, which is actually modelled off of the board game, like all of these paths from a bird's eye view basically create like the Jumanji board game. So yeah, in this whole area, you've got kind of these cool activities. Um, they're kind of perfect for children really. Like you've got some stepping stones here that you can go on. And then you've got a balance beam over here. And this is actually a really cool um, kind of forced perspective photo opportunity. So if you come and stand on this little photo spot and you get an amazing kind of photo of uh, the Jaguar down at the end and it obviously looks amazing when Mandrel Mayhem uh, is going around it and you can stand in there and get yourself a beautiful photo. Now currently there are a few fences out. These will not be here once the land opens. These were for the grand opening ceremony this morning where there was like flames and fireworks and all sorts. Uh, but yeah next to it we've got some cool statues and again we've got some uh, little challenges for the uh, younger guests to try out. Now one of my favourite parts of this area is just behind me, it's the little bazaar section. This seems to be the area where there's uh, quite a bit of uh, easter eggs to check out. Um, so one of the cool ones is up here. This is actually the ride vehicle from the Jumanji ride over in Garderland, which I actually experienced for the first time last year. And yeah, that's the ride vehicle from that ride. So yeah, it's cool to see that it's all part of this like big Jumanji universe. Now another cool Easter egg to check out is just between the Coke freestyle vending machines. You've got this uh, kind of garage staff register where you've got loads and loads of names of all of the people that kind of came together to create the world of Jumanji. And there's cool little icons showing like what kind of thing they did. So you've got John Burton there, Obviously the lead creative who obviously designed this whole area um, along with the help of all of these people. So yeah, very cool Easter egg there as well. But yeah, there's just so many things to spot on all of the walls around the area. You've got cool little um, fact files about different animals in the world of Jumanji. You've got uh, obviously this big map and then just down here on the other side of the little bazaar area is the Mamba Strike Ride which I've yet to go on. That's the only ride I need to get on in this area and of course I want to be riding Mandrel Mayhem many many more times. Yeah there we go. Well, it's become tradition now to always bump into the lovely theme park worldwide. Come on! 
How are you guys? You doing? Really good. Yeah, it's really nice to be here and finally see the area open. To Absolutely. Be honest. How many rides have you been on, man? Four. Four oh, rides. Yeah, that's Front and back. Yeah, yeah we have. Nice. What's your preference? I enjoyed it more on the front. I'm oh, back. I'm with Charlie here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a back for a ride. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the, the good thing, though. It does offer a very different experience. Yeah. Like, it's very re rideable and it's a great first kind of inversion coaster, isn't that's it? it? Yeah, with the height restrictions. So it's a good fun ride. I like it a lot. Yeah. And it's uh, almost tradition as well. Yeah. I know we're in Chatting Tim, but we've got to chat about Fort Park. Oh, Come Fort on. Park. Fort Park. Wow. Foundation's going in for Exodus. It is exciting. Looking forward to it. We'll be heading down ourselves again in a few days, going to have a closer nice, look at nice. it. And it's coming on well. I, I'm, yeah. I'm really excited for all the updates. And... New number one. Oh, well, we'll have, to see what, we'll have to see what happens. It's, it's early to say, but I'm liking what we're seeing. And I'm still shocked at the size of the area, to be honest. I know, right? You know, it's a, it's a massive area for that. And can't wait to start seeing vertical. That's what oh, we want to yes. see now. That's what it gets for really. It is. Like, foundations really. are exciting to watch, but um, there's only so much pouring concrete and things you can that's watch. It. It's vertical there and track go. arrival. And I'll ask you a question, Jack. Oh, go on. Nemesis on Towers. Oh, what, well, what, what, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking to it, Jack? I like the new track. Yay. I like it. I like it. It's got me excited for Nemesis. It won't be Inferno though, will it? Oh! <laughs> I like Inferno! Yeah. Me and Jack always have this banter. It's harmless fun. We both love each other's home parks very much, really. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But it's always great to see you, Jack. You as too. always. Go on, get on Mandarin again. Oh. Oh. Enjoy it. Enjoy. Nice to see you. You too. Another awesome Easter egg to point out for you guys is in the queue line, just as you're getting towards the station, there's this nice uh, Land Rover piece of theming. If we look at the number plate, as you can see, it says Genesis, which is actually an Easter egg for the project name for this ride, which is Project Genesis. There you go, another cool little Easter egg. So I've been lucky enough to have, I'd say, coming up to about 10 rides on Mandrel Mayhem now. And I've got to just be clear, like, I know I'm super lucky to have that many rides. Like, from tomorrow, I believe it's going to be a busy, busy area and a busy ride to get on. However, now that I've been on the ride that many times, I've been able to get a really good gauge on which seats I prefer. And I have to say, my favourite position is that backwards row on the right-hand side of the train. When you go up that backwards spike, you get an amazing feeling, as if you're pretty much upside down. And then, yeah, you obviously do the entire layout. You get an amazing view over the area when you're up here. And then, yeah, you obviously go to go forwards on the way back. So I'd definitely say that is my favorite scene. And Jeff, that brings me to the end of today's video from the world of Jumanji. Obviously a massive, massive thank you to Chessington for inviting me down here today to come and experience this area and all of the rides within it. It's been absolutely amazing catching up with all the people here. And yeah, I'm so excited for this land to officially open on Monday. So yeah, be sure to get yourselves down here to Chessington to come and check out the world of Jumanji. And of course, if you're a big fan of theme parks here in the UK, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for even more videos, especially from Fort Park and their exciting Project Exodus in which they're building the UK's tallest roller coaster. And yeah, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching today's video. My name's Seth Silverstone. Goodbye.